All right, so to, in today's video, I wanted to talk about actually listening to yourself, uh, you know, following your heart, following your own intuition. That's that's what I wanted to talk about. My name is Ryan. This is Ryan Talks, a YouTube channel. I haven't posted in a very long time, but I wanted to do that because this is something that happened to me. Well, I guess it was last week already at this point. Or was it Monday? I don't know. It was either late last week or early this week. And I was out uh, doing DoorDash. I don't know if I've mentioned that in this channel, but I do DoorDash uh, to make uh, some extra money to live. And I was out doing DoorDash and I finally figured out a method where I can make good money in a short amount of time, right? I, you know, you, you, you go play with this. You know, if, you, you, if you're new to this, you go out and you play with it. You see which, what, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Uh, and you figure out a formula. And I had figured out that formula, but it only works if I listen to myself. And I was out the other day and I was door dashing and I, I saw this order, right? I saw this order. It paid a lot, but it, it, it was a, a long distance. And I'm like, you know what? Don't take this. I know it pays a lot, but I guarantee in like less time, I will make double that money. Guarantee it. But I took it. I took it. And I, I it, it killed my night, right? It killed my night. I could have made probably double what I made that night. Um, I know I could have. And I didn't. I didn't listen to myself and I got to thinking, you know, life is like this a lot. You know, the, the people who are successful in their life are people who actually listen to themselves, who actually uh, have a thought or have a feeling in their gut, their heart, whatever they want to call it. You know, Jesus always spoke about, you know, listen to your, you, you know, that gut feeling, basically. It, it's always, always right. It's always right. It's up to you. I think that's where the free will comes in. The free will comes in in our lives in actually listening to ourselves because we know in our heart, in our gut, whatever, the, uh, where we need to go. We, we know it. We know it. You know, like you, you know it. You have that terrible gut feeling when you don't do if you when you don't listen to yourself. It never works out right. Or, you know. This comes down to being vulnerable, too. So that's another thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. You know, being vulnerable with people is, is really hard to do. So this is like not listening to yourself, going along with the crowd. And, and you're never, you're never going to amount to where what you want to amount to if you keep doing that. It's just never going to happen. So meanwhile, on, on, I think it was Monday, I, I didn't make anywhere near how much I wanted to make because... I didn't listen to myself. I didn't follow my gut feeling. My gut's like, I saw that order, and it's like, no, bro, no. Let that go, man. And I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I, 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 I didn't listen to that self. I didn't listen to the self that knows that I can make double or more of what I made that night. And, and you know, it's just a small little thing because it's the end of the month. I'm just saving up for for next month or the month after. Uh, so it's not. It didn't uh, didn't destroy my life. But what it did do was really point out the fact that my whole life I've done this, like in certain things, in certain things, I'll listen to myself no matter what. Like when it came to lifting, when it came to lifting, I didn't listen to anybody, nobody, everybody in my family, nobody lifted. They're always like, you're an idiot for doing this. And I just, I went, I had fun with it, man. Now I, I kind of wish I would have listened to them, but I'm glad I didn't listen to them at the same time because, you know, it was something that I did. I was really good at it. I had fun with it while it lasted, and now it's done. It's a, it was a part of my past. I don't know that I'll lift again. It might. Who knows? But I didn't listen to anybody else, but vocationally, I normally did, but I don't know why because I listened to people who were... Not where I wanted to be, you know, I, I didn't want to be in most of the positions of people who were giving me the advice to do. And I listened to them and I'm like, why would you see that some, and not, this is not, does not mean that they're in a bad position in life. This just means that they're not somewhere that you want to be. So I would look at where they were and I look where I was. Uh, you know, they were a little better off than I was, but they were nowhere near where I wanted to be. But I listened to them. Why? Instead of being vulnerable with, you know, you know, just saying to them, you know, like, I just, I understand what you're saying, um, but that just, you know, doesn't resonate with me or just sitting down with it. Instead, you know, you got to have that mentality, well, blah, 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 you know, well, that testosterone thing takes over, even though I barely had any this whole decade, past two decades, uh, you know, it takes over and, you know, you, you got to, you know, 
well, yeah, all right, you know, I'll do it your way and I'll do it better, you know, but it's not going to be better, right? You, you know, coming from an, a way of th thinking like that, it's, it's not, so instead of being vulnerable to them or, you know, vulnerable to, like, if you want to date somebody and you, you go, you know, your gut is telling you, like, this person really probably would be good for us. Uh, but you can't get yourself to be to that point to go up to them and say, look, you know, I think I find you attractive. I like, you know, the energy that you have. You know, I'd really like to, to, to date you. And so, instead of doing that, I, I, I never do. I never, I never do. This is why Sandy's been gone since September of, if you know, Sandy's my ex. And I haven't talked to anybody. Now, I you know, I, I don't know if I use it as an excuse, but I did have a sick cat um, for a while until, uh, mid December and I was taking care of her and I, I didn't want people really coming into the house cause I, I didn't want her to get any more sick and I, you know, I wanted her to have a comfortable life. So I, I did, you know, I did kind of shy off on that, but at the same time I could have been vulnerable and like, you know, and if and somebody didn't like my cat, um, there's the door, you know, like that's it. But, uh, you know, I could have, I could have done that. Um, but I didn't, I didn't, I, and you know, I have, I have had quite a few women like, you know, give me, you know, that attention, like, look, you know, like it, the ball's in your court, but I'd like to be there too. And so, you know, you, this, this gut feeling, and I, I start having these flashbacks after Monday of all this stuff in my life that I, I just have not allowed myself to do because, you know, they must be right or they, you know, this, but meanwhile, you had to be planted on this planet somehow. So two people had to get together, meet in the middle. You came out, you know, nine months later. But you don't have to listen to those people that did that. And, and, and you know, I think the people in your life that are going to support you the least are the people who gave birth to you. You know, they might be happy for you or whatever, but they're going to they're gonna want you to kind of be in the realm that they are in because that's what they know. And, and, you know, I think that's why if you really look at it, people who are really successful in whatever terms that means to you or them, um, they are that way because their family was that way. You know, a, a lot of the times it's very hard to break away from the tribe, which I have done on many occasions with everything except for like dating and, and, and vocationally, like, I, I just never listened to myself with that. I always felt like, you oh, know, you're just too ugly for the, you know, anybody, you know, it doesn't matter. You just, you'll just be, you know, you'll be lucky to find anybody or something like that. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Everybody brings something to the table, but until they realize that they're bringing that to the table, <sighs> the table's going to be empty. You know, the table's just, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's a broken down table that needs to be redone. You know, you're just, you're not going to have that life that you want to have. You know, I know things are getting a little rougher out there and it's making it a little more difficult, but you're not going to have that life that you want to have. If you are constantly listening to that voice of somebody else in your head, or if you're not ever listening to your gut, your heart, um, you know, for me, it's mostly my gut. My heart's just like, well, you know, here we go again. My gut's like, dude. And that's probably why I have gut issues. It's probably why I have gut issues. That and, you know, the keto destroyed everything. But, you know, that's probably why I have these issues over, over my life. Because I have not listened to myself in the most important parts of the life. You came here for a purpose and it's going to be your vacation vocation you know you came here for a purpose now if you go to the church the church is going to be like well the only vacations in your life is single life married life priest life nun life whatever you know they can say that that they just need more minions and that's why they say that they've been controlling this whole thing for so many years years centuries now you know the vocation in your life is why you're here now it doesn't mean that your vocation should mean hurting other people. If it does, then that's not a vacation. That's just, you know, uh, you know, you need issues. You got issues. But a vacation is something that you are here for. The purpose is something that drives you every day. The reason that you get out of bed, if you get out of the bed and you're like, oh, you know, cigarette hanging out and I'm drinking and coffee, you know, here we go, I'm going to work, you know, blah, blah. Rushing to work, you know, because you're late, because you hate it, and, and if that's your life, you know, you, you miss, the, you miss the boat, man. You know, your, your table is broken, 
And, you know, think about this, analyze this, really think to yourself. I think a good thing to do is just uh, sit in a room with no distractions whatsoever. I've got, actually, now that I live by myself, i got three bedrooms here. Uh, none of the bedrooms have anything in them. And it's good. You can just go sit in that bedroom. Um, I have a little Zafu. I sit on there and stare at a candle. <laughs> and uh, I just let it flow. Just just don't try to control anything. Just let it let it out, man. You know, like, woo, get, you know, get all uh, woo-woo with it. But you really got to know that you, you 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 know you have to sit alone with yourself in a room somewhere no distractions no blue light you have to you have to just let it be man you have to just let some of this stuff go and then you know because because i haven't approached you know said women I, you know i beat myself up for it so i just you know you just sit in a room and just you know like there's nothing you can do about it it's the, the moment's over the past is promised to no one you know the future is is promised to no one the, the past is like a canceled check you can't use it again uh so all you got is the present moment and in that present moment if you lived in the past or if you live in the future uh, you're basically in your own self purgatory, and I think that's why they say that uh, hell is on earth because you basically are living in your own hell. And if you're living in your own hell, you can't change anything. Now you might you, you might actually need to do that. You might actually really need to do that in the beginning to move on from that. But at some point. You have to realize that you've got to move on. The only thing that you have is now. The, you know, tomorrow might not even happen, right? Tomorrow might not even happen for anybody. So all you got is right now. And I know you hear the saying uh, from a lot of people, but what is it that you would do right now? And, you know, be, allow yourself to even be vulnerable with yourself because a lot of people try to lie to themselves, even though you can't lie to yourself. Um, what would it be that you would do? And I say that, you know, at least make an effort to make that happen. Some of us are so beat down that we don't even know what that would be. I've been there. You know, some of us are so beat down that even if we did ask ourselves that question, I don't think we would know what that would look like. And that's when I think sitting alone in a room, I, I know there was a famous writer who said that, the most powerful thing you can do is something like that. I really need to find that and, and, and quote that more uh, more often or, or better. But sitting in a room by yourself is, is the most powerful thing that you can do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the video with that. Think about that. Uh, do that. And yes, that's it. Anyway, like, share the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.